Shalom, shalom. I'm back. The targeted line. My brothers and sisters, I'm sorry. I've been struggling, working a lot, trying to get it together. But Jesus Christ, Yeshua is king. Um, and I'm glad to be able to drop this video. This, this video is about targeted individuals in the Bible. You know, pe verses to help and describe what we go through. And also to motivate and understand that being slandered and hated and targeted and these evil spirits that monitor to you and attack you and accuse you and lie. This is all biblical. The disciples in Jesus Christ Yeshua himself went through this. So I'm going to, I have, there is many verses in the Bible, especially in Psalms, but I'm just going to pick out a couple and, and read them to you and I'll post them on so you can read a, along with me. Let's get this started, man. Praise Yah. I'm in the book of John. Chapter 15 verse 18 through 21 if the world hates you keep in mind that it hated me first if you belong to the world it would love you as its own as it is you do not belong to the world but i have chosen you out of the world this is why the world hates you remember what i told you a servant is no greater than his master if they persecuted me they will persecute you also if they obeyed my teaching they will obey you also they will treat you in this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. I'm reading in the Bible here. You see that? The world hated Yeshua first. That's why we're hated. It's not because of us. It's because the Holy Spirit we carry. It's because the purpose that God gave us, that he set us apart for a greater purpose, to rise above this evil, to speak out as I do and so many do. All right, let's stay in the book of John here. The book of John, chapter 16, verses, verse 33. I have told you these, these things so that in me you will have, you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcame the world. Yeshua was warning us. All right, let's see here. I got a couple of the verses. Let me go to the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy, chapter 3. Um, no, I'm sorry. The book, yes, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. In fact, everyone, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Everybody that lives a godly life, right, in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. It doesn't mean that you're perfect, my brothers and sisters. I deal with lust. We, 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 we all fall short of the grace of the glory of God. But those that seek to live righteously, those that are fighting those demons and trying to be a kind person, even though they talk and slander and they, and they harass you and record you and, and provoke you, right? And try to do witchcraft on you, still got love. You still try to live a godly life. And that's why they hate you because you're different, brothers and sisters. Let's get, uh, let's see here now. Let's jump into the book of Psalms. I got a couple of verses in there. So we're in the book of Psalm chapter, Psalm 36, chapter, chapter 36, verse 12. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them, but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he knows their day is coming. They plot against us, brothers and sisters. They plot that why do you think at your jobs? That they talk and they gossip and they trying to provoke you. People recording you. It seems like you're being set up. Like everywhere you go, they're waiting for you to react. You know, they're plotting against you. They're trying to test your meekness. They're trying to provoke us to anger. But the Lord laughs at them for their day is coming. See, we don't have to fight, brothers and sisters. We don't have to physically, you know, even though I'm, I don't have to physically. God is going to deal with them. And once you understand that this is a spiritual war and that we can't fight it physically because there's too many demonic entities in these people, these vessels, you understand that we got to fight in prayer. We got to fight in the spirit, right? All right. So let's see here, brothers and sisters. Where am I at here? I'm in chap Psalm chapter 31, verse 20. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from all human intrigues. You keep them safe in your dwelling from accusing tongues. So you have to understand, they are accusing us of evil that we do not do. They're, they're, we are, they are being 
they are trying to project their sin, their wickedness upon us. You know, if you walk uprightly, if you're not sexually perverse, if you're not zesty as a man, if you're not a whore as a woman. I'm being honest, brothers and sisters. I talk about these things, but these spirits are evil and they want to project that upon us. If you're clean, if you if you shine, if you have a, you know, a clean spirit, a light about you, they want to project evil upon you. See, they they accuse you. They lie, they slander, they gossip, right? They speak witchcraft over your life. But you have to understand that we have the power in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name, to tread upon scorpions and serpents, to, to, to condemn every rise, every tongue that rises against us. Understand the authority that you have, because they're going to talk about you because you shine. They want to throw dirt on you. They want to dim and darken that light. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Where are we at here? Um... Um, I think uh, I think I have one more here in Psalms. Um, I have Psalm. I'm in Psalm chapter. Where am I here? Psalm chapter three. Psalm chapter three. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear ten thousands assail ten thousand ten of thousands assailed me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. See, understand, from the Lord comes deliverance. Right? So it's not us that can defeat these demons in these people. Understand that, brothers and sisters. It's, it's Yah, it's God that fights for us. It's God that is going to vindicate us. Revenge belongs to the Lord. You know, you understand? We can't take revenge. It's not going to work. If I punch one of these suckers, if I become angry, and I've had, I have become angry, but I've never got violent, you know, but the, that's what they want to set you up. And to make you look like a bad person. And then they say, oh, look at him. But they poke you. They, I know. They talk. They slander. They provoke you. They push your buttons until you get angry. See, but we got to learn not to react. That's the key. These demons are doing their job. They're meant to provoke us. They're meant to try to stop God's plan. To get us, you know, to sabotage our lives. Um, that's their goal. Now, I think I got another verse here. Where am I at here? All right. I'm going to end it with this. This is one of my favorite verses in the Bible, but also one of my favorite um, ver verses and chapters about being a targeted individual for pace, facing persecution. Please listen carefully, brothers and sisters. I'm in 1 Peter chapter 4. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude. Because whoever suffers in the body is done with sin. As a result, they do not live the rest of their earthly lives in human desires, but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans chose to do, living in debauch debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable adultery. They are surprised that you do not join in their reckless, wild living, and they heap abuse on you. Hmm. Because you don't join their evil. They heap abuse on you because you don't get with the party and in the gang gang and fornicating in this wicked, perverse world. You see, they are surprised that you do not join in their reckless, wild living and they heap abuse on you. But they will have to give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel who preached was preached even to those who are now dead, so that they may be judged according to human standards in regard to the body, but living according to God in regard to the spirit. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and sober mind so that you may pray. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Whew. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do with the strength of God. 
provide so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ to him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. Suffering for being a Christian. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers in the sufferings of Christ. Oh, I'm sorry. As you participate in the sufferings of Christ so, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should be as a it should not be as a murderer or a thief or any kind of criminal or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. <sighs> Brothers and sisters, that verse was so powerful and beautiful and substantial in our lives. Targeted individuals, chosen ones, those that face persecution and spiritual warfare and monitoring spirits and all this evil that we face day in and day out. He told us how to live. He told us that it is a blessing to suffer. Now that's something that you have to understand. I want you to do this because I do it too at times. You got to stop complaining. Stop complaining, my brothers and sisters, because this is a blessing. Blessed. What does it say here? But rejoice as you partake, part, participate in the sufferings of Christ. Right? We are part part. Takers of Christ's suffering. We are suffering for Christ. It is a blessing. It's blessed to be hated, to be persecuted. Understand that. If the world hated you, just know it hated me first. You are not of this world, brothers and sisters. And you know that. Deep down in your heart, brothers and sisters. My phone, my bad. You're not part of this world. You don't want to be a part of it. You have a bigger purpose, brothers and sisters. And this is not me trying to say that we're better than other people, but God's people are peculiar. We're chosen. We're set apart. You know, those that are targeted, they understand what it means to have so much pain. You know, those that have been targeted, brothers and sisters, you deal with the most horrible lives. You've been abused. You've been abandoned and since children. You've been falsely accused, falsely incarcerated, beat up, losing jobs. People being nasty towards you and you're just kind. I know, brothers and sisters. But that's what Christ went through. That's what the disciples went through. A servant is no greater than his master, brothers and sisters. We are not some perfect people. We are not better than others. But what we are, brothers and sisters, are followers of the true God. And in these end times, when all we see is perversion and wickedness and witchcraft on stage, I could go on, you know, the Olympics and all, everything is satanic. It's obvious, brothers and sisters, that the more and more that we live and we get closer to the end times, the wickedness is going to increase and the persecution will increase. So our job is to stay in the word of God. I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm trying to be more disciplined. I'm, I'm still struggling with lust. I'm trying to get away from talking to women and even just just, just uh, entertaining any thoughts or looking at Instagram, you know? I'm trying to get back in fight shape so I could get really back in the ring, you know? I'm trying to eat healthier, lose weight. I mean, we got to we gotta live a life that's disciplined. We got to live a life where we're not in fear of what they do, but rather we walk with confidence and we know that we're suffering for Christ, that we're in a spiritual war, that we don't have to be the victims here. We are victorious because Christ is victorious. In this world, you will find tribulation will be of good cheer. I have overcame the world. Brothers and sisters, this video is a wake up call to all those that are being targeted and they don't believe in the spiritual realm. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in God or the devil or spirits. Understand how satanic this world is. Understand that what we're going through is right in the Bible. The Bible is a book of prophecy. This was written years and years ago. You know, you understand what I'm saying? This is stuff that we're going through till this day. Brothers and sisters, that's a hard life. You know, we have to accept the fact that we're not going to live forever. You know, most of my followers are probably in your 20s or 30s, you know, middle age. Death, 
death is a part of life, brothers and sisters. But we're, while we're here on this earth, we're going to suffer. But we are meant to help others. We are meant to love each other deeply. We are meant to train the children in the way they should go so when they're older they won't depart from it. We're meant to serve others. See that? Christ, he, he sacrificed himself in a sense. You know, to, he did. To serve others, the disciples did too. And that's what we're meant to do. We have to serve others. We have to help people. And that's why I make these videos, brothers and sisters. It's like I'm just sitting there in the room talking with you, you know. And I love y'all. And I know what you go through. And you're special people. And you get the, you get mistreated. And it's not fair. But you live for Christ. Your reward your reward is, uh, is in heaven, brothers and sisters, you know. And they will have their time, these wicked people. But we're not meant to hate them. And that's hard. That's hard. But I'm learning to love people more. I'm learning to be the bigger man and, and admit when I'm wrong, even though I'm not wrong. You know, to diffuse situations and not react, you know. And I understand we're only human, brothers and sisters. The Bible says love covers a multitude of sins in that verse. Love covers a multitude of sins. Brothers and sisters, stay strong. Stay in the word. Exercise. Eat healthy. And do not let them provoke you to anger. Don't let them change who you are. You're a beautiful, kind, loving, strong, charismatic, courageous people. And they want to provoke you to live in that fear, that anxiety, those demonic spirits. They try to put it on you. And all that witchcraft, but it, I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, we shall condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, says the Lord. At work the other day, I met this man. He had like a, a Bible shirt on, a Bible verse. And we just started talking. And I felt the spirit. And it, there's not many chosen ones, brothers and sisters, in these times. But you test their spirits, brothers and sisters. And that's why we can sense evil. We have discernment. God gave us many gifts, brothers and sisters. But use them for good. Do everything to the glory of God. And understand, we're going to suffer for Christ. This is not our home. Understand that. The devil is the God of this world. But as the Bible says, in this world you will find tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcame the world. Keep your hope in Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yahweh. I love y'all. Shalom.